breakfast this week is egg bake and oatmeal. So usually on my way in, I listen to podcasts, but when I get to the turnaround for 44th Street to Wilson, I always kick on a song, and this is my jam right now. able to recognize okay it seems easy but a lot of people have a hard time of all right my emotions are kicking in right now I'm nervous I'm too amped up whatever it is okay, and then we have to take that step back so that's the first thing so especially those of you that are in season I'd have it a little bit easier all right these next couple days try to recognize when your thoughts are controlling your emotions and then work on controlling those thoughts and we'll build on these steps each day but the first step that we're just gonna talk about today is just recognize, okay? So try to recognize in game when your emotions or your thoughts are affecting your emotions, which is affecting your play. Does that make sense? All right, let's get rolling here. We are between second and third hour now, so it's uh, 9.58, which means it's snack time. I love me some snacks. So today's second breakfast is Trader Joe's PB&J bar, two yogurt cups, Oikos triple zero, gotta get that protein, and then some extra thick cut Kirkland steak strips. Let's go. Hey, 
So once per day, I will pick a single group that, uh, or a class that I will lift during. Today, I'm lifting during fourth hour because it carries over to lunch. It'll give me a little extra time as well as Coach Tuscan is here and Coach Sam is here. So uh, we have multiple coaches that'll be running the session. So I'll be able to uh, jump in and get my own rack and get after it here today. Let's get it. Clean high pole. So you should have your feet like on the G. We starting from the floor. So you, when, we want to get your triple extension in your hips and your ankles. That so elbows high and back. It's not a front curl. It shouldn't look like this, but it should be nice. Bar should be tight to your body. Scott, you're on the vlog. Oh. What do you got to say? About what? I don't know. Don't know spot. Um, where, where'd you grow up? Grew up in Greentown, Indiana, about three hours south of here. Super small town. Um, played football, basketball, baseball, track. Um, and then I came up Four to- Four sport athlete. Yeah, then I came yeah. up to Grand Valley to play football. And then now I'm, I'm here. Dominating. Yeah, something like that. Sam, you're on the vlog, man. What do you got to say? Lift heavy weights, eat a lot of food, work hard. Eat your carbs. Mm -hmm. Eat your carbs. There we go. Uh, where'd you grow up? Lakewood, Lake Odessa, Michigan. Went to Lakewood High School. I was a Viking. What'd you do in high school? I was a football player. I did powerlifting and then I did track and field, shot put and discus, baby. Nice. And then... What's your degree from uh, Grand Valley? Exercise science, soon to be degree, almost done, with the clinical emphasis. Yeah. With what's, the goal the, what's the plan after? Uh, move to Colorado. Uh, and the goal is to be a orthopedic physician's assistant. Nice. Yep. This man's got his idea, his his life planned out here. <laughs> here we go. Snack number two, banana post workout here. About to start sixth hour and we got a protein shake. Skull that. <laughs> Eat this. Go dominate sixth hour, huh? It's 3.30, so we got our off-season crew in here right now. You can see everybody behind me working their med ball slams. Shout out to Coach Joe Shermonte at Byron Center for turning us on to the sprint jump throw. Today we're just doing a, a throw and a sprint, but normally we do sprint, jump, and throw. So we got the, we got the crew working right now.
Okay, so we're going into our sprint portion here. Uh, Paige, come on up. Yuffie, yuffie. You got to get some redemption here. I know. Okay, so we're working um, our first dynamic drill. So, you know, we worked a lot of pausing, stopping, okay, that kind of stuff. So what we're going to work on now is we start adding a competitive component here, okay? Put yourself a full arm's distance away from me, okay? And I'm going to get set, and when I move, she has to try to tag me before I get to that orange cone, okay? So it's not like on a whistle or anything like that. It's literally when she sees me move. Ready? You can see behind me here, we've got a little bit of a glimpse into how we write our training programs. So uh, we, we do what we call vertical programming where we have three different levels to our training programs. We have our peak program that you can see right there, okay? Um, right now we have some kids that are on a modified version of this that we call our advanced program. And then you can also see over here, okay, our novice program, okay? And the way we write those training programs is pretty much everybody is gonna do the same thing in a day, but we're gonna modify the exercises, okay? We're gonna scale them up or down to an athlete's individual training level. So within this session that we have going right now, okay, we have athletes, uh, three different level of athletes, okay, working on their program all at the same time, they could even be partners and have slightly modified different versions of the program. So this is something that we built over the past few years and it really, really helps our athletes get the most out of every single session. By Say having... what up. Hey, what up? Let's get after it, let's go. So bad at operating the camera, I feel you like a big have dummy. Camera, Tully. I'm just bad at operating it. Lady, the moment you touch it, go into distance. Oh, Try and speed off the ground. You don't want to be on the ground. And then you're gonna take the med balls. <laughs> and you're gonna stay square to the wall and just do two each way. So one, two, one, two, five sets of So, give me two claps and a Ric Flair. our long day of training. 12 training groups, first one started at 6.45 a.m. It is 6.21 p.m. on Monday, March 1st. Uh, like I said, Monday is our busiest day because it's the beginning of the week, it's between game days, 
Um, and it just seems to be the day that the most athletes make it in. So it was a fun day. Now it's time to go head home and have dinner with my lovely bride.